All right, hi, and welcome back. Attorney Steve Vonner, welcome to another exciting video. Today we are talking about a new career track in the practice of law. It's not actually new, it's actually been out for a little over a year, maybe a year and a half now. But this is called the paraprofessional. The paraprofessional. Now this is something new. California is working on it. I'll talk about that in a second. Arizona has it passed. You can become a paraprofessional in the state of Arizona which is not exactly a lawyer, but you can do things that are very lawyer-like, such as draft documents. I'll talk about that in a second. Give it legal advice without a lawyer, without a lawyer supervision. So this is pretty groundbreaking. So if you have a strong passion for legal, the legal system, especially those of you who have been watching my channel, you say, well, I wanna make a difference out there. I like to be a lawyer, but I just don't wanna do the four years of law school, way too long, too much money, too far. This is one way to help, prevent, to help provide access to justice and it's in a limited four areas in Arizona. And I say right now, okay, because this could change. This could open up into other areas if the program is successful, if there's not, let's say, malpractice claims, if it works, um, that kind of thing, okay? But you have family law. So you can become a paraprofessional, and I'll talk about the educational requirements and the licensing requirements. It's very similar to the path uh, you take as a lawyer, getting state barred, and I've passed the bar in California, Arizona, I'm licensed in both. So it's very similar process, okay? But you can become a specialist in family law and do just about everything that a family lawyer does. There are a few exceptions, and if you're interested in any one of these tracks, make sure you look them up. But if you have a passion for family law and helping people with certain family law issues, this could be a perfect thing for you, okay? Um, if you're into administrative law, this is a second category, okay? This would be all your boards and all your agencies, and there's so many in a, in a state, and there's a ton in California, there's a lot in Arizona. They're, you know, that If they allow you, if they don't prohibit a paraprofessional, then you can do things in the administrative law area, okay? So if you're interested, look around in that area. Civil limited, this is a civil, this is a kind of stuff that, this is kind of stuff Attorney Steve does here, so. Uh, but there's, you know, different things you can do in the uh, justice courts, okay? We have justice courts. Most people don't know the justice courts can be filled by someone that's not a lawyer. I have a video on this how to become a judge in Arizona without having a law degree. It's pretty incredible. But anyway, you can hear civil limited claims. You can hear a criminal limited claims, only misdemeanor claims where they're not facing prison, you know, so minimal uh, civil misdemeanor cases. So that's a basic of what it is. So this is an incredible new thing. It will be overseen by the Arizona Jud uh, Judicial Council and the state bar or the supreme court of arizona of course is the uh, top of the food chain when it comes to to regulating lawyers licensing um, a citizen a legal resident of the united states at least 21 years old um, never prior prior denied admission that kind of thing good character and fitness you're going to have to show that you have the character and fitness ultimately just like all lawyers do and if you want to get into a practice area, you're gonna need special education in your practice area, okay? So if you wanna focus on administrative law or criminal limited, you have to have special education in that area. I'm not gonna go over all the requirements. I will provide a link in this video where you can find it. Um, but the basic things are you're going to have to get licensed, fingerprinted, all that kind of thing, and show your good character. Um, there's other ways to get in experience um, a lot of it is if you have like a paralegal license you've been a paralegal for a long time there's different ways to get in i'm going to put it in my link down in the description i'm not going to bore you here and let's just go really to the uh to the uh role and responsibilities things that you can do and we'll cut this video short here but you can pre prepare and sign legal documents you can provide specific advice, opinions, or recommendations about possible legal rights, remedies, defenses, options, and strategies. Wow. Uh, you can provide legal advice without an attorney, and you can own in on a law firm. You, be, you can now own in on a law firm. Can you believe that? Get ownership interest. Um, draft and file documents. This is what we do all day. We draft and file documents, including initiating, that's complaints, and response, that's answers. 
uh, to actions related motions, like motion to dismiss, discovery, who engage in the discovery process, in term and final orders and modification of orders and arrange for the service of documents, service of process as we call it. And this one big FD, appear before a court or tribunal on behalf of a party, including mediation, arbitration, and settlement conferences. So you get to do alternative dispute re resolution. Can you believe it? Holy cow. And negotiate legal rights or responsibilities for a specific entity or person. So folks, if you've been thinking about getting in the legal system, you don't want to go the whole law school, uh, school route, the whole uh, state bar route. You have a test, but it is a, uh, I will have to say uh, what I looked at it, it was a three hour, it had a core test, it was multiple choice, a little bit different than, than what the bar takers take, and specific subject matter in your core, certain questions in your core. So, but that's it. That may be something for you to look into. This could be great. This can help access to justice. It could help bring down the prices of legal fees. Gulp, lawyers, gulp. <laughs> but anyway, that is the paraprofessional program. Hope you like this video. Feel free to share it. This is general legal information only and not legal advice.